Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to iFly English. In today's video lesson, we are going to cover some words, phrases, as well as idioms from one of my favorite Disney animation movies. Sometimes learning English gets really boring and very tiring, right? But when you watch animation movies in English, it is a lot of fun and interesting. And at the same time, you can continue learning English. For today's video lesson, I have chosen the best idioms, phrases, as well as slang words from a Disney animation movie called Zootopia. So without further ado, let's get started. Zootopia, a gleaming city where animals of all breeds, predator and prey alike live together in peace and harmony. Our first idiom is for all time's sake. For all time's sake is an idiom that you use when you do something in order to remember a happy moment in the past. For example, me and my classmates, we always get together at the end of the year to remember happy moments. So we do it for all time's sake. We get together for all time's sake. For all time's sake, please give me a hundred bucks. Long time no see. And speaking of no see, how about you forget you saw me, huh? For all time's sake. That's a no. Our second idiom is to call it quits which basically means to stop doing something. For example, yesterday I felt really tired at work, so I just decided to call it quits and go home. I decided to stop the work and go home and spend some time with my family. Oh boy. Does this make you uncomfortable? Because if so, there's no shame in calling it quits. Yes, there is. Boy, that's a spirit. <laughs> Our third word is to frequent which means to visit one place very often. For example, I visit a coffee bar, which is right next to my house, a lot, because it's very close to me and I'm a big fan of coffee. I just love their coffee. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna hit the pause button right there because we're all good on bunny skull cookies. Uh, no. I'm Officer Hops, ZPD. I'm looking for a missing mammal, Emmett Otterton, right here, who may have frequented this establishment. <sighs> Another interesting idiom is to break bread. To break bread, it means to have a meal with someone. For example, I remember when I lived in the US, um, me and my friends, we lived in one big house. And there were some other people from different parts of the world, like Philippines, India, Egypt. And we always broke bread together. So we always had meals together with those guys. It was a lot, it was very interesting, it was a lot of fun. Huh. Mr. Big. Sir, this is a simple misunderstanding. Yep. Mm. Ah, this is a simple misunderstanding. Mm. You come here unannounced on the day my daughter is to be married. Well, actually, we were brought here against our will. So, <laughs> point is, I, I did not know that it was your car, and I certainly did not know about your daughter's wedding. Mm. I trusted you, Nikki. I welcomed you into my home. We broke bread together. Grandmama made you a cannoli. And how did you rip To have a ball is our next interesting idiom. To have a ball, it means to enjoy yourself very much. On my last birthday party, I had a ball. I enjoyed myself very much. Or, soon we're gonna have a birthday party of my brother, and I am sure I'm gonna have a ball. Well, I had a ball. You are welcome for the clue. 36 hours left to solve this case. So can you run the plate or not? To crack a case is an collocation, which means to solve a criminal case. For example, uh, some crime happened yesterday and investigators or police are trying to crack the case. They're trying to solve the criminal case. They're trying to find out who did the crime, what really happened and who's actually responsible for it. Uh, no. What did you say, Fox? 
Sorry. What I said was no. She will not be giving you that badge. <laughs> Look, you gave her a, a, a clown vest and a three-wheeled joke mobile in two days to solve a case you guys haven't cracked in two weeks? Yeah, it's no wonder she needed to get help from a fox. None of you guys were going to help her, were you? Here's the thing, Chief. You gave her the 48 hours, so technically we still have 10 left to find our Mr. Otterton. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So if you'll excuse us, we have a very big lead to follow and a case to crack. Good day. To cut it out is an idiom that you use when you want to tell somebody to stop talking or behaving in an annoying way. For example, if your brother or your friend is annoying you, you can tell him, cut it out, stop doing it, it is annoying me. Tickets right now, I'm gonna kick your meek little sheep butt. Ow, cut it out, Gideon. Bad, bad, what are you gonna do, cry? Hey, you heard her, cut it out. And our last phrase for today is to go savage. When an animal goes savage, it becomes violent and wild. Or if, if, if a person goes savage, that per person becomes very aggressive and violent. So l let me ask you a question. Are you afraid of me? Do you think I might go nuts? You think I might go savage? You think I might try to eat you? <gasps> That's it for now, and if you have liked the video, don't forget to let me know in the comments below. I'm gonna see you next time.